Baby armadillo. Humans will pet anything. How wonderful, then to live on a planet full of creatures that like to be petted. This is so true. I tried petting a lion once and now I've got one hand though. Welcome back to Easy Peasy. I'm Cougar and today I'm going to be your narrator as we dive onto the now dying website that is r slash Tumblr. Let's get to it, shall we? People are always like, no game is perfect. You can't please everybody. But when was the last time you heard a mother fricker complain about Portal? It should have contained more portals. I was disappointed by the number of portals. Z, bud, I hate to break this to you, but you as the player are always in direct control of the amount of portals. What? RIP, RIP, RIP. I can never interact with my neighbor again, holy frick. I was outside with my cat just now and he went behind a shrub for a bit and me not realizing my neighbor was on the other side of the same shrub poked my head round and said way louder than messy my scrumptious darling boy whatever are you doing over there <laughs> and this 40 something man i very rarely speak to handled it with remarkable grace and very tentatively responding watering my roses <laughs> you and i ran inside and jumped off cliff how the frick does YouTube mine all this data to micro-target ads at me and yet it continues to pour unwatchable sludge into my actual recommendations? Fun fact, YouTube just pours whatever they will, knows will make them the most money into your recommendations. That's why some people pop off and some never do. YouTube's all run by a conspiracy. The Illuminati, what am I even talking about? I was annoyed at myself for being obsessed with soap making for three straight months and making way too much soap, but now I'm not. I can give heaps of soap to everyone in a 20 mile radius of me. And I have plenty of precious little eggs for my illegal chickens. Only neighbors who didn't snitch to the HOA get free eggs though. Bet you wish you had some fresh eggs right now, huh Richard? Chaotic good, LMAO. The zombie outbreak started two years ago. Now you find yourself concerned by a decaying zombie. When you do the unthinkable and bite it first, when it falls to the floor and grows its skin back and sits up and asks, what is going on? This may be the best subversive idea for zombie apocalypse stories I think I've ever seen. How the frick did you not... Did you know that work? I didn't, dude. I just freaking panicked. Listen, I'm not the biggest fan of kids, but if a child looks at me, then you bet I'm gonna smile back at them. Kid deserves to experience the world as a kind and safe place to explore, okay? But the world is not kind and safe. Then freaking do your part and make it that way. Smile at the little kid. Apparently, I'm playing Skyrim again, and by playing Skyrim, I obviously mean spending hours installing mods before I ever open the game. For play with Todd. Do you think before you post? Yes, I think. Ha! Funny. And hit the post. My thighs are high because they're full of secrets. Wrap them around my ears and let me hear them all. You smooth mother fricker. I downloaded Pokemon Go to see what all the hype is was about. Walked outside and there was one of the critters on my back porch. Sitting on one of the patio chairs. I lobbed a ball at him and caught him. He's a little blue fella named Squirtle. My uh, grandma downloaded Pokemon Go. This is Sopia. Heck yeah, buddy. Dale, get out of the hot tub. We're stealing a news van. It's the perfect crime. How will they ever report it? I'll never get over how great that joke is or the show. It was fantastic. Like Zoic Scoob, every mystery we solve brings me closer to the realization that the only monsters in the world are pathetic old men trying to steal as much money as they can. Zoinks, man. Wow, Shaggy, a hippie, as the punchline of a joke in the 60s really backfired, didn't it? I hate how Tumblr, a username like Lisa486, is almost certainly a porn bot, while someone named uh, Solid Snake's Booty Cheeks is almost certainly a real person. I could be a porn bot if I want. It too. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Hmm, I might get it. And we could be friends in it? Yeah, we can be friends. You can come to my island. That sounds nice. This exchange between me and my sister about Animal Crossing reads like two comrades bleeding out on the battlefield. Hmm. <laughs> I might get it. And we could be friends in it? Hmm. Yeah, we can be friends. You can come to my island. That sounds nice. <laughs> I'll really enjoy that. I'll miss you there, bud. I literally cannot stop thinking about this post. Why am I crying? What is wrong with me? Stop crying, Cougar. This taxidermy was found inside a late 19th century French mansion, which has been sealed up for more than 100 years. Good to know people were just as freaking weird before the internet. <laughs> Look, the one frog is even like, ha ha, I stab you. <laughs> Watching commercials for the first time in a while, and I am laughing at the little film before COVID disclaimers at the bottom for the one showing parties and bars and social gatherings. Seen at social gathering. Do not attempt, my friends. Six feet apart, 
and mask. A cute girl told me she has lots of plants in her house and I told her for some freaking reason, damn the oxygen at your place must be mad crisp and somehow still got her number so chase your dreams. Nothing is impossible apparently. See I can't date her cause then one I'm a loser too. I touch her plants and they would die. I feel like people who hate bagpipes kind of miss the whole point of them. They're not dainty instruments, they're not here to make you tap your fingers on tabletops, they're here to smash right into your chest and make you face every emotion you've repressed this century. Biggest freaking mood? They're also meant for hilltops, not small rooms. Can't get the right reverb with all that echo. That's true there. A woman is stunned when her new driver's license came back with a picture of an empty chair. Interesting way to discover that you're a vampire. Ah! Ah, uh, uh, smile for the camera. Ha <laughs> ha. One of the weirder things about being an adult is having a favorite stovetop burner, yet nobody talks about it. Bottom left. We'll hurry and catch him before he gets too far away. Ho ho. Uh, this describes me totally. Yep. Sorry, mom and dad. In my house, elbows on the table are mandatory. You can do whatever you want at your house, but as long as you're under my roof, you will. Wear your hat to the dinner table, Grandpa. Mothers are frickers of the jury. Do you know how often I think about this post? I'm in law school. This post is going to ruin my life. Reblog to ruin a law student's life. And done. Going through customs at a US airport. Airport snap, sir, do you have anything to declare today? Sorry, 20. Uh, no. <laughs> Trips and falls, hundreds of kinder surprise eggs rolled out of my pockets, jacket and briefcase. Get on the ground now, sir. But I am. Armed guards swarm around and pin me. Armed guards, what's in the eggs? I don't know, it's a surprise. This only makes sense a few years ago because these were illegal in the United States. Season one. Donna do e do ba do be do be do ba agent P. Season four. Oh, hey there, pair of plat. I can't you do different schmoots. Do different schmerz. My god, I can't speak today. Honestly, my dream is not to be famous myself but to be married to a famous person purely so I could go to events full of other famous people and pretend I've never heard of any of them. I would love to watch the look on Leonardo DiCaprio's face as I ask him what he does for a living and when he incredulously tells me he's an actor, take a sip of my drink and ask, and how's that working out for you? Yeah, I'm an actor and people do that to me and it hurts. But I'm not famous, but you check out this movie Camp Twilight I'm in, just coming out now to streaming. Mm -hmm. Check it out, check it out real quick, yep. Here's a hot take. Gift wrap is dumb. 90% of the time you can just hand someone the thing and accomplish the same task. Society has conditioned us to love wrapping crap up for no reason. Probably by gift wrap industry people. Counterpoint. Monkey Instinct says uncovering secret bounty from colorful shell, good as frick. <laughs> that it is. From my mom's old photos. Glad to know people have been making the same jokes for decades. Ha! That kind of looks like Richard Nixon. Today I learned that there are three types of fun. Type 1 fun is enjoyable while it's happening. Type 2 fun is uh, miserable while it's happening, but fun in retrospect. Type 3 fun is not fun at all, not even in retrospect. How the frick is activity that's no fun during or after they consider the type of fun? You know how a lot of people play a game called League of Legends? Yeah, yeah, that right there. Today I learned the first ever speeding ticket was issued to Walter Arnold on the 28th of January 1896 in Kent, England. He was blitzing through the town at 8 miles per hour, four times the legal speed limit, was chased for five miles by a police officer on a bicycle, and was fined one shilling when he was finally caught. Glad they caught that sick son of a snitch. He could have hurt someone running eight miles per hour for Christ's sake. What if people got a new name every birthday? What if the name represented how old you were, like every 11 year old was named Josh? I had my first kiss when I was Greg. This wasn't supposed to get notes, but it did. What's a gender neutral word you could use for your spouse? Wasband? Hyph? Wife's band? I may be stupid. Having a post like this blow up really makes me feel like a lowly jester who, having made a suitably funny, has created an uproar in the royal hall, with the diplomats and aristocrats belly laughing demanding more, more, as they throw firecrackers at my feet and I can't do it so they kill me. So my neighbors are hosting some sort of charity event thing and they've got a live brand going on and they're pretty good. So when they finish the song I yell at, whoa! And then I just hear, is that a neighbor? Over the microphone. You're really good, I say because, well, what else do I say when I'm yelling over four acres of bushland during the night? Then I just got a really awkward reply of, uh, thank you? And now I'm just sitting outside in the cold listening when the last song comes up and this one is dedicated to the random neighbor that is hopefully still listening to this for free. Due to order boneless wings, close the fridge with their hips. Yeah, and what of it? My hands are full of my booty is bad. 
You freaking wish you were me. Uh huh, you damn right. Coog, the narrator's got some cake, boy. In primary school, we had a creative writing assignment where we had to write about a character in a new strange situation. And I wrote about a squid that has somehow teleported from the ocean to the forest floor and slowly choked to death for two pages and I'll never quite forget my teacher's face because it turns out she wanted, this new school is scary, I hope I make friends, and not a graphic description of a squid dying. Well, uh, that's just the risk you take if you decide to teach creative writing. That's true. In 1930s, Helen Aleda Shelby presented an apparatus for attaining criminal confessions. The police put the suspect into a darkened chamber where they are confronted by a human skeleton with glowing red eyes that questions them with a voice transmitted from the interrogator behind it through a megaphone in its mouth. A camera concealed in the skull was to record the confessions. What? Confess your sins to the crime skeleton. Come on, bud, just do it. Just do it. I'm asking real nicely, even though I'm spooky and scary. My toddler said I was his second favorite person, and I was bummed out, but then he said that his mom is third. He has no favorite person. He's holding the position open. Power move by the child. Good one. We're ruining the planet. I'm sorry, who is the we? I don't recall myself running a billion dollar oil business. Sometimes I use the Keurig and I feel bad, but then I just remember just a hundred companies responsible for 70%. 1% of the global emissions. Yeah, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die one day. And it's thanks to the greed. Ugh. We live in a world where losing your phone is more dramatic than losing your virginity. Ugh, the use is terrible. Um, okay, but I don't recall my virginity having 16 gigabytes of memory with all my contacts, music, photos, calendars, and apps, or costing over $200. My phone is an expensive and important material object and not a useless social construct put in place to shame and commitify women. Plus, I remember where I lost my virginity. Hey, hey, cons I, I haven't lost my phone or my, or my virginity. Does that make me cool? This is the narrator speaking. You're not some daddy's boy who tries to dolphin me and then blimps. I understand all those words separately. When you talk to a native speaker who uses slang, but you're only ever learned formal language in class. Yes. Today I learned the reason why we view Neanderthals as hunched over and degenerate is that the first skeleton to be found was arthritic. Way to frick it up for your whole species, frickin' idiot, way to go! This teeny Jin Urso went to Star Wars Celebration and handed out copies of the Death Star plans to every Leia she saw. You left out the best part. She left the last one at Carrie Fisher's mom. Oh, Jesus, that hurt. That really hurt. Oh my God. So I was talking to a buddy in psychology and then this kid came in who looked exactly like him and gave him a book he'd forgotten at home. And I went, holy crap, do you have a twin? And he was like, yeah, his name is Jason. And I was like, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I thought your name was Jason. Long story short, I have one of them in my math class and the other in my psychology class and I've developed a friendship with both of them, but I thought they were both the same person this entire time. Remember this post? Not Jason is refusing to tell me his name and everyone's keeping it from me, so I'm just calling him Not Jason. That's perfect. And if you made it this far, you probably don't hate me. Anyways, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you like to see more of down in the comments below. This was one long episode. Anyways, have a good day and remember, be good people.